It's been raining today. It's sort of a dreary day, and we're going to have chicken soup for dinner. So let's get right to it. And today we're going to make some homemade chicken soup using basically canned ingredients that we've already got on hand. Some fresh vegetables. I used uh, chopped celery, carrot, and onions, and I'll have the exact amounts in the uh, ingredients in the description box below. I'm just softening these a little bit. Uh, this is broth that I canned up in March. And then these are chicken legs. I just popped chicken legs in here, canned them for 75 minutes. They made their own juice. And I also have chicken that's white meat chicken with mushrooms. So this is going to make a really great soup with the dark meat, which is really good for soup, and also some white meat, some mushrooms, some very flavorful chicken broth that's been on the shelf for Oh, I don't know, about six or eight months now, and our vegetables. So I'm going to combine these and just let it cook for maybe about an hour. So let's, now that we've got the veggies softened a little bit, I soften the veggies because everything else is cooked. The chicken's already cooked, and we don't want to have to wait too long and have the vegetables be too crunchy. Okay, there is one quart of broth. Now you could just use a quart of broth and another couple quarts of water because this broth that we homemade uh, ourselves is very nice and rich. But I'll probably just use two quarts of broth and I may add a little bit of water. Alrighty, here's our second quart of broth. I don't think I'm going to even need to add water. That looks really good. And then here we've got our chicken legs. These I canned uh, last August, so about a year and a year and four months ago. As long as the seal is good, they really don't expire. The jar manufacturers uh, guarantee the seal to last for 18 months. So beyond that, they don't guarantee a seal. But if your seal is good, the product inside is still good. So I'm going to use that great natural broth from the chicken. I'm going to try and rescue the bones out of there and then I'll get the rest of the... Let's see. Ooh, that bone is just falling apart. This is a really good bone broth actually. So we're going to just put the meat in there. I'll come right back. So you can see we had... I got the meat off the one bone. It just fell right off. Here's the second leg. So I got these chicken legs on sale. I forget exactly when. Got, when you catch a good deal, you can just can them up just like they are. And then you can decide what to do with them later. Oops, the bone is just crumbling. So the bone fell right in there. The bone fell right in there, but I can easily retrieve it. So there's the bone. I'm going to just grab that out of there and leave the meat into the soup. Okay, so we've got our veggies. We've got one can of chicken legs. And they'll, they're so tender, you just kind of press them with your spoon and they'll just break right into smaller pieces. Absolutely delicious. Okay, I like a really meaty soup, so I'm going to add a couple more cans of chicken. One more. Ooh, nice pop. Good seal. And here we see again, we've got a bone that I'll try and retrieve oh gosh the bone is crumbling apart we have all this good nutrition from the bone and the bone marrow in this jar and it was so easy to just can up those chicken legs Okay, so there's the natural juices. I got the one bone. Let me grab the other one if I can get that pretty easily here. Okay, that came out pretty simply. Okay. 
That's two cans, or two jars, I should say. That's two jars of chicken. And four chicken legs, because I had two nice big fat chicken legs per pint jar. And it's going to take a little bit more. I'll get my chicken breast with mushroom. So I caught a good deal with chicken breasts. When was that? Last April. And I had mushrooms on hand, so I thought, well, might as well can them up together. A little mushroom in the soup will be delicious. And this, I don't have any bones, so I don't have to worry about that. So it just gets dumped right in. I had to use a spoon to kind of break that up a little bit. It wasn't coming out very easily. And there we go. So all we're going to do now is season this to taste. I'm going to put a little thyme in there, a little no salt seasoning. I put fresh uh, garlic in with my uh, carrot, celery, and onion. And this is going to be great for our dinner. I have a little bit of leftover rice in the fridge, so we'll have chicken and rice and vegetable soup. Delicious. So that was pretty simple. Everything's heated through. It took about five minutes to put this together. Uh, if you have canned vegetables from your harvest, of course you can use those. With everything canned, you just basically dump and go. So this is enough soup for a big family, actually. This is my three-quart uh, pot here. Oh no, actually, this is this is my this is my four-quart pot. So this is quite a good amount of soup. I didn't have to make space in my freezer to keep the chicken. I had the chicken canned on the shelf where it's out of the way. It can stay there until I need it. And it's much quicker than using frozen chicken. I didn't have to wait to thaw it out and then cook it. I mean, this is just ready to go. I just really wanted to show you how easy it is to cook when you've got products on your shelves just waiting to be used and make a meal in an instant. This is really fast food. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And we will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.